Gene Simmons, thanks for joining us today. I appreciate it. Uh, take us through the, the vault. Uh, this is your newest venture. What is it all about? Well, look, uh, I'm proud to say KISS, this little band that started 44 years ago, yes, 44 years ago, has become America's uh, number one gold record award-winning group of all time, I'm proud to say, in all categories. And so here we are today in 2017, and time is moving on. I'm 68. We're still touring. We're having a great time, and boy, do I look good. <laughs> but in all seriousness, over the years, ever since I was a little kid, I've got so much stuff in my vaults. So therein lies the idea behind the vault, GeneSimmonsVault.com, that is. Yeah, you see what I did there? <laughs> GeneSimmonsVault.com. And so the retail model in general is diminishing, which is a big word like gymnasium. Uh, I'm saddened to see Sears in trouble, malls are in trouble. People just don't seem to be getting out of their homes. So in this case, the mountain is going to come to you. The vault, for the first time anywhere, it's going to break the model. This is not going to be available online. It's not going to be available in retail. If you buy a vault, and I'll tell you all about it in a second, I'm going to get on a plane at my cost, and I'm going to bring it to you. I'm going to hand the vault to you, the largest box set of all time. What's in the vault, Gene? Well, I'm glad you asked. The vault contains 150 never-before-released tracks over a 50-year span from 19... 66, that's in the previous century, when I was 14 or 15 years old, the very first song I ever wrote, My Uncle is a Raft, all the way to 2016, 150 songs. Plus, it's got songs that I co-wrote with Bob Dylan, even the recording session of Bob and I trading licks and stuff. It's in the box set. Three Van Halen tracks that they appear on, Alex and Eddie. Uh, Joe Perry's on a track, all the KISS guys are on it. I mean, it really spans wide. Then there's our beautiful book, which is uh, 50,000 words about the making of, the stories behind, where I was, who I was with, and all that stuff, with tons of photos from my private collection. A gold, look at this cool looking gold coin. thing. That's right. And on one side it says, in Gene we trust, and on the other side it says, if it's too loud, you're too old. But it's all in Latin, of course. And to make matters even more interesting, there's a powerful and attractive action figure of yours truly. Really exceptional. Kind of looks like you a little bit. I hope so. <laughs> I hope it doesn't look like Richard Simmons. <laughs> but I mean that in a good way. And then we have, oh look, more chicks. Wow. And then we have private things that I put on for my private collection. There's a there's a hidden private box, a little secret place where you press it, it opens up, and in different vaults, there'll be different things that I stick in for my private collection, backstage passes, all this kind of stuff. Now, the thing that makes the vault not only the largest box set of all time is that we are breaking the entire mold because you don't have to leave your home. I'm going to be bringing this to your area. Back your comments to you, back on, to you Chuck. I appreciate it. You know, your comments on retail are fascinating. You are literally taking this and cutting out the middleman. Uh, what are your thoughts on retail more broadly? Because well, you are the very retail, much a the retail has its own problems, and that is that uh, the public has uh, ADD, attention deficit disorder. There's so many images and ideas coming at them from all sides. Mm -hmm. Retail has to be more competitive. Because, I mean, we have our rock and brews restaurant chain all over the place. I fully recognize. No one has to leave their home to grab a bite to eat. In fact, you don't have to fight traffic. You can stay at home and doing that. It is incumbent upon us, is another big word, to make sure that when you come to our Rock and Brews restaurants, it's an experience. Mm -hmm. Retail is no longer an experience. You know, people, the kids, when I was growing up, used to say, let's go hang at the mall. They didn't even know what they were going for. And when the Costco's and the other great uh, retailers started, People would go in for a quart of milk and walk out with a flat screen TV. Mm -hmm. Now you sort of know what it's come. You see the shadow, you see the shape of the object, you know what it is. It is important to change the retail model to make it an experience, to make it fun mm -hmm. because life is dreary and dull and uh, Not other your life. No, but I'm, I, it is my inferred fiduciary duty to myself and other ideas. It's my responsibility to make my life fun. Mm -hmm and to make good business and good judgments and so on. And my favorite judgment today, by the way, I love that the Dow is on a two-day 
uh, high now. We're at 22,113 yeah. or 112. Yeah. Pretty good because when I rang the bell at the New York Stock Exchange without a corporate partner, just uh, Mr. Grasso inviting me, the Dow was below 8,000. That's around uh, 2008. And on the floor, your competitor asked me, what do you suggest? I said, buy American. It's going to go high. Am I the first one that's going to tell you buy low, sell high? Come on. So I bought everything I could get my hands on. We're at 22,000 and we'll be 23,000. I'm telling you, because of about two years back, I said the Dow's going to break 20,000, and here we are. You were on here with us when you made that Dow 20,000 call. Uh, do you see it going up more than 23,000? What gets it, it there? It will. Uh, everybody's talking about a balloon, uh, but what's happening now is uh, the president, whether you agree or disagree, is going to take, it's going to make some moves, which some people are going to argue with, which mm -hmm. is lower taxes, make it easier for business, streamline the, the way business does. Now, by the way, I fully recognize some people have problems with the political idea and there are people talking in the background, so I won't kill myself until later. But to make it easy for all of you, what's going to happen is less people are going to be out of work, business is easier to do. I mean, the, the Dow is alive and well. And if we get a flat tax pass, we may even beat uh, the 19 trillion in debt that we have that we're leaving for generations to come. Mm -hmm. And I'm told by some economists in 10 or 15 years, we can get it under control. That's 19 trillion, but you need a flat tax. I'm not running for government. I'm just pragmatic. That's my political party, the pragmatic political party. Now, I want to ask about that. There are a lot of celebrities. Haven't you, haven't you told people how stunning I am in real life? Oh, I've done that coming into here. I mean, All right. You're very stunning. Uh, Bitcoin. There what are a lot say? of celebrities yeah. investing in Bitcoin. Are you interested in Bitcoin? Do you care I am, about but only as a, uh, a piece of the puzzle. Anybody who goes to Las Vegas mm -hmm. and bets all their money on 35 black is, is uh, an insane idea. Uh, like anybody who's bright, you're a powerful and attractive man. You know that, that what you want to do is to, you know, be diverse and spread the risk, mm -hmm. not just in Vegas and stuff. Coins, great. Mm -hmm. Real estate, great. You know, just mutual funds, that's fine. But, you know, don't, CDs, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, but I have a nice portfolio and it depends on your appetite, mm -hmm. how conservative you are and how safe you are in the market. So no kiss coin? Uh, I'm interested. Kiss bitcoins? Uh, <laughs> kid coins? Kiss coins? Sure. <laughs> Ultimate businessman. You can talk me in. Christianity? Sure, <laughs> tax-free. <laughs> what is, uh, I want to obviously touch a little bit on, on music. What is the state of the music industry? The state of the music industry is unfortunately very, very dim. I said before that rock is dead. It really is. But it's not that the, there isn't uh, talent out there. There's really a dearth. There's another word you don't really throw dearth in my face if you dare. See what I did there? <laughs> These are semantics, but I'm not anti-semantic. There's lots of talent out there, but the system is broken because fans have gotten used to the idea of not paying for anything. Yep. So if you're a supermarket mm -hmm. and people walk in and just take whatever they want and leave, mm -hmm. the farmers are out of business, the truckers who deliver it, the people who work there. So the, the model is broken and so there needs to be new legislation. And the record company was asleep at the wheel when that first kid downloaded and file shared and didn't pay for it. Mm -hmm. You should have been on that freckle-faced kid next door mm -hmm. and taken his home. Mm -hmm. Along those lines, uh, Apple, they've been pioneering in music. They came out with a new phone uh, yesterday. Are you interested in this? How I is am. The, the first, thing, first thing I would do with the phone is to plug in GeneSimmonsVault.com. <laughs> and I'm a great believer in Apple, I think, especially since they're getting into programming. Mm -hmm. And uh, if they're smart, they'll try to own the programming. Mm -hmm. uh, and or, and I like reruns. You know, there's lots of new, there's lots of old content that's very sexy uh, for people. But... Uh, Apple is getting in, uh, smartly diversifying, right? Mm -hmm. You can't just be technology. If you're just technology, you're missing the point, which sure. is content, content, content is king, mm -hmm. now and forevermore. Mm -hmm. What is your favorite social media platform? What is, where do you see the most engagement? My in, favorite kinds of platforms are the kinds that uh, Kiss wears. They're seven and eight inch <laughs> platforms. <laughs> and we stomp the stage. We are America's number one gold record award winning group of all time. And we wear more makeup and higher heels than even your mommy does. <laughs> What's your mom's name, by the way? Deborah. Oh, I remember her. She was <laughs> Okay, I appreciate that. And, and Leslie, what do you uh, what do you collect? I mean, you're giving you people know, I, collectibles. You uh, know, in all seriousness, I'm an only child, and I wasn't born in America, and that is my great 
uh, advantage, mm -hmm. respectfully, over you and many people. And that is that I don't take anything for granted. I'm aware I'm living in the promised land. Mm -hmm. I was born in Israel, but don't kid yourself. Flight was invented here. Uh, you know, phones were invented here. That light that darkens the night. If we weren't here, if it was the middle of the night sure. before America, the world was in darkness. Mm -hmm. America lit darkness and turned it into day. And I don't take any of it for granted. And only in America could I make GeneSimmonsVault.com a reality. Because in other parts of the world, you could not have the chance to access Jim Cramer's The Street. And Jim was on with you, I think, on The Apprentice, Jim right? called me the greatest uh, marketer on the face of the planet. <laughs> but look, at the end of the day, marketing, schmarketing, sales, it's about people. Mm -hmm. People connecting with people. And if you don't connect and, and you don't have an honest voice that they can, you know, where the messaging is clear, say what you mean, mean what you say, they'll think it's just shuck and jive. Mm -hmm. So here's the reality, GeneSimmonsVault.com, I'm going to get on a plane. And I appreciate that you're going to spend 2000 bucks for this, plus we also have producer experiences and home experiences. You'll log on to GeneSimmonsVault.com. But I'm going to get on a jet at my expense and I'm going to come to where you are, in your area, because look, you've made me rich and stuff, and I don't fool it. You're not supposed to say rich. I'm goddamn rich. I really am. And I work for every damn penny of it because the fans gave me the chance. And the band, and my bandmates, and Paul, and everybody. It's time to give back. So the vault for me, before I kick the bucket in a kiss casket, or a kiss urn, by the way, we make them. We make kiss condoms. We make kiss caskets. We'll get you coming, and we'll get you going. So I'm here to tell you that this is a once-in-a-lifetime mold-breaking opportunity for me to finally meet you face-to-face -face and hand you the largest box set of all time. Do you ever get tired of making money? I mean, you have all these ideas. That Why is such a negative idea. I'm just asking. No, I mean, really. Yeah. If God appeared to all human beings on Earth and said, I can make, I know what's in your wallet or purse, I'm going to give you either more or less money, what do you think everybody from Buffett on down is going to say? Or more. Why would anybody say, aren't you tired of making money? Yeah. Isn't it true that the richest and the poorest, if they win the lottery for $100 million tax-free, are going to run down the street and go, whoopee? Would you say to him, aren't you tired of making money? Fair enough. Even God passes the hat, my friend. That's true. Very much. Thank you for coming down again. I appreciate it. I'm it's sorry, what did you, you say? GeneSimmonsVault.com? GeneSimmonsVault.com. Thank you, Mr. Jim. Appreciate it.